Hello and welcome back to Guild Wars 2! I've been playing this game a lot over the last couple weeks, and uh, you might notice this is a different character from my previous video. Uh, I really enjoyed Ranger, and I was liking where it was going, but I played around with some of the other classes just to see, and wound up really loving Engineer, so it's what I've stuck with for the while here. But I'm definitely going to go back and play the others, uh, as we'll get into later with the personal story stuff. I have really enjoyed the personal story, and I really want to dig into uh, what else can be done with the personal stories, because the one that I chose here gave me the Green Knight and Bursalak, and that was a really fun story that I liked a lot. Uh, but, and there's more coming, of course, for this character, but I really want to see what else we'll be getting with the other characters and the other choices. So, I've got a lot more Guild Wars to play, and that means there'll be a lot more uh, videos on Guild Wars, I'm sure. But, one of the first big things I want to talk, because I have a lot I want to say in this video. One of the first big things I want to talk about in this video is the new player experience. I think it was a little rough my first time through uh, because I didn't look anything up and I didn't try to look anything up. I just went to figure it out on my own. Love the combat in this game, by the way. I just went to figure it out on my own. And the second time through on this engineer, it was way better. It was so much more enjoyable of an experience uh, because I knew what I needed to be doing. I need to be completing stuff for people. I need to be... Uh, finishing out those hearts and exploring the area and just leveling slowly so that I unlock my personal story and then doing the personal story. And if I had any complaints for this game at all, just the one, it's that I think the personal story system is cool. I wish it was spread out over more levels because I get to do a really cool story mission and then I need to go level up a little bit. I need to go explore the world more. That said, I think one of the biggest strengths of Guild Wars 2 is that you level as you explore. You spend more time in the world. You help NPCs. You get to know things that are going on in the world. And you get to see some really cool environments as you do, all while you're leveling up. There is a level scaling system. So even though I'm level 26, if I went back to an earlier area, it would scale me down a little bit. But unlike an FF14 with level scaling, I still have all of my abilities. They just do less damage, uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, the reward for exploring is that you can find cool stuff like these hero points that allow you to further customize your character more. Uh, you get to find vistas that give you a better view of the area. Also, as an engineer, I have these sick turrets. I can fire rockets from my belt. And I can do a rocket kick, which is almost a rider kick. It's very close. I'll accept that. I really do love the combat system in this game. And that's the other big thing for me, is that as I'm finding this cool stuff as I'm commuting with these places of power and gaining these hero points as I'm finding the vistas as I'm finding destinations as I'm finding events I'm also getting to do this great combat I am someone that's played a lot of MMOs over the years I love playing MMOs I find that some MMOs don't have great combat I broke my pickaxe earlier and I need to get another one uh, some MMOs unfortunately just don't have great combat which is a huge shame but Guild Wars 2 is definitely one with amazing combat. I think FF14, Guild Wars 2, I haven't played enough Lord of the Rings Online to really dig into that, but I really liked the combat in that as well, from what I, the little bit that I played. It's, Guild Wars 2 is such a cool game. So on top of all the combat, you also get these like platforming challenges like this, which leads you to try and figure out where stuff is. And some of them were really fun, some of them were really difficult. Some of them were really fun. I found some world events and got involved with those and had a blast with those, being surrounded by a bunch of other players. I saw another player just giving stuff out in one area and got to do some cool stuff there. I found a world event that let me get a bobblehead and platform through a, like, lava geo, like, digital platform space to be able to get to a treasure chest in the top. It was really cool. And that's my favorite thing about this game so far. Not only is the combat great, but the exploration is really, really satisfying. I have a lot more I want to do in this game. Like I said, I want to do all the personal stories. Uh, I want to play around with all the classes. And I want to get to the rest of my personal story stuff. I want to get to 80 and be able to get my mech on an engineer. I want to be able to get... I have so much more I need to do in Skritzberg. I want to do... Uh, my other specialization stuff and like the stuff you can do with builds here i'm going firearms right now which i need to train more firearm skill which i can do no scope now i guess uh no scope the next one i want no i really want serrated steel but i don't think i can get it till after i grab no scope 
We're gonna grab no scope. But critical hits on foes within the range threshold have a chance to grant fury, granting me ferocity, uh, which is very nice. Right now I have it on uh, increased condition damage, but let's do ferocity because my build is kind of crit heavy right now. And that's the thing. I can change this at any time. That's so cool to me. I can change this to uh, from firearms to explosives and focus on explosive damage instead. I could go, hey, you know what? I'm really loving my rifle. Uh, oh, I got to reselect these. Because uh, I'm on pistol right now? No, okay. Critical hits. Uh, crit. 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 There we go. I can switch to my pistol and have a completely different set of moves. I can switch any one of these at any time to be a different... I love the escape with the rocket boots. But I can switch my turrets, and I'm slowly leveling up to unlock my last slot. I've got uh, some novelties here that I haven't even gotten into yet. I don't know what's going on there. And then I can do this, which is awesome. I love that. So oh, 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 boy. Love that so much. This game's so cool. I do think that it's a little open, and some people won't like that, right? Some people will feel like they're just kind of running around grinding. But for me, the main thing is finding this cool stuff. Like, that guy's trying to steal sap. Get out of here. Can't have that. Why are you trying to take that? Oh, no. I didn't mean to hit that guy, too. Okay. And there's another one. All right. Look. Got him. Ah, uh, he still got me. Okay. Drop the turrets. We're fine. We're fine. That's what I mean is you never know what you're going to find in this game. It's so cool. And I know that the other classes get different stuff combat-wise, too. But, like, those are enemies that would have absolutely... Get back here. Enemies that absolutely would have stopped me before. But because I've spent time with this combat system, I know what they can do. I know how to counter them. And it feels really good to just spend time with the combat system and get good at it. I can't wait to get some more stuff. And what happens when I start getting other moves to change in here, you know? This game's really, really cool. Look at this. This is a creature in this world that is stuck there. There's also another world event going on, a group event. Uh, can I get there in time? Oh, there's a there's a guy chased by basilisk. Let's go to the event. Let's go to the event. This game is just really cool, and like I said, there's a lot more I want to do in it. I'm still very far from. Uh, I mean, oh, that's a new unexplored area over there too. That's what that little icon means. But I am really enjoying my time with it. Again. For a lot of people, it may feel really unfocused right now because we're kind of just going around doing stuff. But again, look at how far I've gone. Like, I started here. I've gone all the way through here, cleared all this stuff, got all the hero points. I don't even know about all the stuff past here. You know, like, what's up here? I went to a place. Where was it? It was... What is this place? There's so many places in this world I haven't been to yet. I would like to have a mount. Having a mount would be cool. But, you know, I understand I'm going to wait a little while to get one of those. But, yeah, this, this world is super cool. And I'm really loving exploring it so far. Let's do this world event. I've tried to do this world event like three times. I always die to these guys. Came vulnerable. Oh, that's right. We got to finish it off. All right. Set up the turrets. I don't know what's happening right now, but we're going to try and take out that mortar. Here we go. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. I also really love this fight to survive mechanic. Because it gives you a chance to get back up if you can just kill him in time. Yeah, like that! Which feels really good. What is shooting me? Oh, no. I'm unsure. Is it that toxic mortar all the way over there? There's no way I'm going to kill it. Too far away. Done for, but there's another player over there. Maybe they'll pick me up. No, they're leaving. They're leaving. We're done for. We got two... Uh, we got a little too greedy here. Can we grab this guy? Hey, over here. Get over here. 
Get over here. Get over here. No. Nope. Oh, there were more. There was, oh, that guy won't pick us up either. So we can go back to a waypoint. Come back here. It doesn't look like there's anybody that will pick us up. It doesn't look like anybody's really doing this event right now. Uh, but I've seen quite a few people at some other events. Fallen allies over there. So what's the close? Oh, that one's contested right now. We can't use it. We can use this one though. But yeah, this game's just really cool. It's different in some ways to other MMOs that I played, while also being like the same. Of course, it it takes a different approach to a lot of the same ideas, in a way that I find really cool, and sort of refreshing. I still love F14, right? I'm not gonna stop playing F14. This area is so cool, by the way, where you can do the, you can fill out the heart by doing the math problems or by solving the, the monsters being summoned. But no, it's just this game's really great. I like this game a lot. We're not gonna go back to that event right now because I'll just get destroyed there. There's another one going on over here too. We're gonna keep exploring. See what new cool stuff we can find. Oh. What it's not, I didn't mean to hit the MOA. Alright, save me! Kick! I haven't even gotten into all the crafting or anything yet. I also really like the inventory system. This is not really the time to show it, but you can take any materials and instantly deposit them. Get other gear that you can find and pick them up that way and, and auto-equip them. Uh, you can sell off old gear, of course. I have a couple of these Black Lion chests. I got one Black Lion key. I picked that healing turret up. It's so loud. I got one Black Lion key. But ow. All right, can I just boost past you people? I don't want to deal with you right now. Here we go. Thank you. And I kind of wish that I could just... I guess maybe we'll find more, but I kind of wish I didn't keep getting Black Lion chests when I could buy keys. That's a little annoying. It was like, hey, I got this chest that could have some cool stuff in it, but... I don't want to buy a key, but I do know that eventually I can exchange currency for keys. There's a lot of options there. I haven't gone into the super uh, adventure box yet, but there's apparently some cool stuff in there. Where's a, where's that at? Missed a deal right there. Vent over there. How do I get over there though? Up and around? The amount would be nice, but it's okay. I don't have to have one. Well, I'm really enjoying this game so far, and I really want to play around with an elementalist. That seems really cool. Revenant and the necromancer seem really cool. I have a level 80 boost from buying uh, End of Dragons that I might use at some point on one of the other characters, but I want to I want to level to 80 myself first. I want to get there. I want to earn it, you know? Drop the turrets. Look at the AOE damage I can throw out. Of course, I'm taking a lot of damage, but I'm putting out a lot of damage too. Kill the ads. <laughs> right, another boss. A refresh. No. No. We almost have her. I can't do this alone. I may not survive. No. Yes. Got it. That's right. Got some nice XP from that. See, it synced us down to 23, and then we we got a bag, and that's another thing I really like about this game, because uh, it's it's like getting a little chest every time. You never know what's going to be in it. Sometimes it's something great. Sometimes it's terrible. That's how I got that key before. It's from a bag. I thought it was really cool. Probably sell some of our garbage. Sell some of our... Buddy. You selling some brittle bones, some crate scales. Some pants. Oh, no, that's my stuff. <laughs> that makes sense. So junk. All right. We're going to hold on that. Unlocks the Crate Antiquarianism Study Collection. Uh, but we'll sell the scrap. I don't need those pants anymore. I don't need the shirt anymore. Sell that. 
sure I'm going to get a comment on this. It's like, why did you sell that? You you needed that. You could have done something great with it. Yeah, probably. I don't know, though. So, you know. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I just, I really like exploring in this game. There's, like I said, a whole lot more that I want to do. I want to play around with more stuff. I want to hit higher levels. I want to, uh, I want to see what else this game has for me, you know? I'm really excited to see where the personal story goes. And again, I want to hit 30 really bad so I can do the next leg of the personal story. But, figure out what goes on with the Nightmare Court and the Dream and the Dragon. And the best part is, if you haven't played uh, this race, you have no idea what I'm talking about, right? Because that's the personal story for this character with this race. And other characters with this race won't have that, which I think is really cool. They'll have their own version of it, which is different and weird. And other races will have completely different personal stories. That makes me want to play around with those. So let's go do this heart over here. And then we'll probably call it for this video. Because, oh, almost dead. Free XP. Because my main goal with this video was just to show that, yes, I'm still playing this game. And that, yes, I'm still really enjoying this game. And that if you're still on the fence about playing Guild Wars 2, you should really look at it. It's a one-time purchase. You buy it, play it. Uh, I believe the base version of the game is free, so go ahead, you know. But I'm really having fun with it. All right, disrupt meetings, inquest bandits, give stolen bandit documents to Corporal Rhea Shinde. We can do that. Get out of here, bandits. Ooh. I love that, too, that that's got an AoE on it. So even though I knew I wouldn't hit him, I knew I'd hit the MOA. Oh, I love the combat in this game. And I've barely touched it, right? There's so much more still to find combat-wise in this game. Boop. <laughs> and then if we hit this button right here, we switch to our pistols. Also, super... Oh, there's an event nearby. Down here. New unexplored area we haven't been to yet. Oh, oh, oh. You're not getting away. Documents, thank you. Oh, it's a turret. Oh no, this is a lot of them. Okay. Grabbing our stuff. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. That's not what I meant to hit. I meant to hit hurt. But I killed that thing, so that's pretty great. And again, it's it's two completely different movesets, but it still uses all of my tool movesets, which I think is really cool. Hey, buddy. Get out of there. You're good. Free. Boop, boop, boop. Fire! <laughs> Drop our heel turret. Stunned. I got it. stunned. I got it. There we go. Boop. <laughs> and that's my thing. It's like when the combat in a game is fun. Even if I am just running around the world killing stuff, I kind of don't mind. But I'm also finding cool new stuff, like this bandit camp, you know? And I'm not going to have to go turn those bandits. I will go turn in those bandit documents because I'm that kind of person. But I don't have to. I can just kill enough bandits and automatically get the... I'm going to kill him by trying to kill the turret. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's drop these. That's not what I meant to do. Drop these. Uh, not stuck. <laughs> there we go. We got it. And we get the XP for it, and it's great. A lot of damage, though. We can just, uh, rush up there. What's out? And this, like, this is the thing that happens to me every time, is I get to say, well, you know, I'll stop here for today. And I go, but what's further out this way? What am I going to see if I go up here? What's through this path? What what do I unlock next in the map? Look at all this that's still to find! Oh, I love this game. I've been to Camp Resolve. That's cool. 
Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Camp Resolve? How do I know Camp Resolve? No way! Is that where my other character is? Dugerg? Okay, we're gonna kill this bandit leader and then we're gonna we're gonna double check that, because if so, that's super cool. I'll get out of here. I wanna be in this event. If it winds up being that you get those unlocked automatically, that's pretty great. Where's the bandit leader? Somebody already kill him? People are coming. Here? There we go. Wow. It's really hard. Why were you attacking the weapons rack? Rocket turret? Okay, I saw that coming. And so I was ready. And I attacked the other one instead. I'm gonna die here. That's happening for sure. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, that's a Mesmer. Oh, that's so cool. I'm still gonna die here, though. Can I kill this one to get back up? Oh, they picked me up. Nice. I picked me up. Whichever. Oh, crud. I'm glad I'm tanking over here. That doesn't seem like something I should be doing, but all right. I'm up again. Healing turret. I'm going to get back close to you to heal. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are they coming to pick me up? Do they even need my help? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I might be a little weak gear wise to be here, but I've been having fun. So I sort of don't care, you know, can they do it? Can they kill it? You can do this. I know you don't have my health, but oh no, you're going down. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Anybody else coming from around here? Maybe that wants to help us out. Any other players running in to help? We're done. We died. Well, uh, it's worth a shot. Let's go check out fields. Help the script challenge the bandits. I don't remember running here. But if this area is what I think it's going to be, we'll find out once it loads in. But if it is, that'd be super cool. Loading times can be a little rough. They're not terrible, don't get me wrong, but they can be a little rough. I've definitely seen worse, even in videos on this channel. Uh, I think about Total War Warhammer 3, which had a loading screen that took like four and a half minutes. I went up and made a sandwich and came back and it was still loading. Oh no, this is not that. This is where I used the, uh, the potion to skip ahead to see uh, what the stuff would look like at 80. And then decided not to keep it because I wanted to level to 80. And that's where it took me, was this area. That's really cool, though, that it brought me all the way back here. Advanced gardening. Oh. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Thank you. Also, like, I, my equipment is not great. I need to be higher level for sure. And I've got uh, an equipped item that doesn't have stats selected. Which one? This one? Yeah, let's go precision. Well, vitality might be the right choice. Okay. Yeah, no, this this is cool. This game is great. I really like this game. I want to get into all this other stuff here, too, and, and really play around with all this. But Let me know your thoughts uh, on Guild Wars 2 in the comment section down below. Have you checked it out? What do you think about my terrible character? Because he's not high enough level yet not geared well but i'm having fun and at the end of the day uh guild wars 2 is fun and that's what i really wanted to say with this video so let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and until next time i've been trey this has been the full spectrum remember to always enjoy the full spectrum 
Guild Wars 2 has to offer.